at the layout of a page in um, WordPress. And the thing is that we, you need to know that it's a page. See, it says edit page and I'm over here in pages. Posts are different and they can go on a page, but um, they themselves are not pages. So if you are editing a page, you can get to it from pages and select all pages and then find it and you'll get to here or you can go to, um, if you're actually on the page, you can click edit page. Hopefully that will get you here. Okay. So the best way to, um, edit where things are is down here, which is the Themify Builder. So you could click up here and get to it. Um, or I just, whoop, crazy. Um, he, that's not quite, oh, now I could edit it on the page itself and drag and drop components. You can see that here is one text box and here is a text box. And here are the posts that I was talking about before. They are pulling from the ECC posts, the categories ECC. This over here is another text box, another text, text box, and some also down here. Oh, this is post archives. Apparently this is blog posts, which we'll apparently have to talk about. Blogs versus just posts. I don't quite know the difference, but in um, when you click edit, you can edit these things and drag them around and move them back. And I should undo that with a, I could did that with my, uh, keyboard controls. Anyway, you can do that here. The other thing is if you click in edit in backend, that will take us back to where we were a minute ago on the back end of this. And if I scroll down to the Themify builder, then now I have all the different blocks that are here and I have different ways to deal with this. So this, I'm not sure what this is called, but um, this is like, what is it, a row? I don't know. Anyway, whatever this is, then you can, um, in this section, I made it one third, two thirds by using this right here. I only want to use either full column or this one right down here or the three across. I think those should be the three that we use um, on all, th all of our pages, either the full, the one with a left side column or the three at the bottom. So let's just stick to those. Um, so in this little section, I have the one third, two thirds, and then I can just add different kinds of things, modules apparently here. So I've added on some pages, we have an accordion module. Others is a box has some background. If we need to add something with a button, that's fine. Um, a gallery we haven't gotten to really. I'm just doing texts and accordion so far. Oh, and posts. So posts again are over here. And if we have a bunch of posts, you can see that there are some other ones over here. So like the ECC blogs um, is a collection and that showed up in um, the post. Now, when I go into this post, just so you know, um, somewhere, oh, that's not supposed to show there. Um, mm, this is supposed to go away. Let's see if it'll go away. Uh, I'm going to refresh the screen so we can see what's going on. Um, you can tell it how many posts to show. And back in our, um, in our spreadsheet, I list number of posts visible for each page should be this approximate number. So whatever page you're working on, let's use those numbers, please. Um, so once again, if we're here and we're trying to edit this posts section, we're not going to mess with the styling because Matt's going to take care of that. Um, I'm trying to remember where it was that I said how many to posts to show, but uh, we'll get to that apparently somewhere else. But you can, as you can see, I can move this text box around. I could move these posts to the top. I can drag and drop these sections just like I could on the front page. 
down here I could move them around. Now the the, the hard part is that I don't know it the, the I wish the title would appear but it doesn't. So I actually have to like, you know, click on it and open it up to see which um item it is. Now, when URJ put a bunch of these things in the widgets and they put them in as widgets as text boxes all in a post which makes no sense. And they didn't put the titles. So we need to make sure to put for every module we make or text box or any other module, we need to make sure we put a title so it, we can find it first of all. And also so that the styling, the CSS styling shows up the same for all module titles. Okay. So that's this. And of course, now I have this section down here too, that I could add and I could make it either the full across if I'm going to do like a slideshow. Um, or I could do this. So I don't need it. I wish it would go away and I don't, I tried to, oh, it's not going to delete. I guess that's the next one, but it's not going to show up. So this again is Themify Builder and you can get to it here or on the page itself. But again, this only works for pages. So pretty much all of our website pages should be pages. URJ did not make them all like that. If we go back to the menu items, um, if I go to visit the site, I can get to the menu right here. If I'm on the site, then I can go to men menus or widgets, but in the menu, then it shows me the menu structure here in the middle. And here notice it says pages and posts and custom links. So, um, pages shows me the ones, the pages that they built which may have posts on them, but posts are the posts that they made that are just posts, not pages. And if you look over here in the menu, this is a page. This is a category, which I don't quite know. Um, these are custom links, um, which I'm going to have to fix one of these. These are, this newsletters is a post, but really it should be a page with a post on it. So we're going to have to fix that page page. I made these two because they were some other thing. Notice that most of these are categories and posts. So we, I made this page. So we're going to have to turn all of these into actual, or most of them, I would say, into actual pages and not just posts and categories. So that is our task ahead of us, making all of those into the right kind of things. So we can add our widgets. When they made those, they didn't remember we had a lot of widgets we needed to add the modules. So since we need those, we have to go ahead and change these into pages. So you're going to go in, add a new page, name it the same thing, but we'll know that it's a page because it's a page and not a post, if that makes any sense. And then, um, the, so I hope that, I hope that made sense. Um, so I've showed you the difference between a page and a post and um, how to reorganize your pages with the Themify Builder and, um, and that kind of stuff. I will show you an accordion. Um, I know that Howard made an accordion for us under Jewish holidays and it works really nicely. <clears throat> Matt will theme it, but for now you can just open this up and read about Sukkot. And you can open this up and read about Hanukkah. So this is helpful because the page itself is not as long as it used to be um, visually. You don't have to scroll down to see what you're looking at. So I hope that helps. Also, mostly I'd like to remove these leave a reply because that is not, we, we don't need a lot of comments to reply to. We're trying to keep this not a st um, more static than that. But on the join us page, I will put uh, it's not finished yet, but I will put um, a place for them to get a hold of us on this page. So I hope that helps give a brief overview of um, our WordPress site and let me know if you need anything else. Thanks.